But you tell me when. So. All right, so we're going to take a look at um, the third group of bones for the skull. And this is the stapes right here. And the stapes looks a lot like what it's named for. It's supposed to look like a stirrup, and uh, it really does. Um, but it would be a very small saddle if you tried to use that for a stirrup. Okay, next we're going to take a look at the temporal bone. Temporal bone is on, it doesn't look very large if you look at the lateral side of the skull. It looks sort of like a, um, a scallop shell. You can see it kind of a little bit of jaggedness here. So this is uh, temporal. We can also see it down here on the inferior side of the skull. And it makes up really a fairly substantial amount of the cranium on the inside. So we, this is the petrous ridge of the temporal bone. And this all this dark coffee colored uh, bone is a temporal. Then we have, oh, by the way, temporal bone gets its um, name from uh, the fact that people usually start showing age by having the hair go gray over the temporal bone. This is the temporal bone on the white skull. You can see the kind of scallop shell shape. These, this is part of the temporal bone. This is part of the temporal bone. And then if we look inside, this is all temporal bone here and here, extending down toward the occipital bone. I didn't show you the occipital bone on the inside of the skull. There's the occipital bone on the inside, all this. Okay, and then we have the vomer. And the vomer is a little tricky to see. Uh, vomer is shaped like a wedge and it comes to a point anteriorly so that just that little white spot there is vomer but if you look posteriorly that's where the wedge is thick and so if we look at this uh, nasal septum this whole piece right here is vomer so if I were to tag this anywhere along here this would be the vomer bone okay I'm going to show it to you on the white skull okay so this is vomer here Okay, and then if we look posteriorly here, this whole piece, this whole vertical piece is vomer. Okay, and then the last bone of this third part of the skull bones, zygomatic. Zygomatic is sort of the color of uh, black raspberry sorbet. You can see it's what most people refer to as a cheekbone. It makes up part of your orbit. Okay, it makes the contact with the temporal bone. And if we look at the zygomatic bone here, this is a zygomatic bone right here, back to about that crack, over to about here, and then a little bit of the orbit, zygomatic bone. And that's all the bones of the skull.